Folding electric bicycles have proven to be some of the best city commuting vehicles due to their compact size and lightweight nature. But what if your daily commute goes beyond the busy city streets and requires you to travel at higher speeds? A company from Romania has thought about such a scenario and developed a motorbike that combines great power capabilities with a folding lightweight construction. This company is no stranger to developing folding two-wheelers as they were behind the Hummingbird bike, one of the most successful e-bike campaigns on Kickstarter. Their new Colibri M22 motorcycle is powered by a 3-kilowatt motor with 6-kilowatt peak output and 55-mile-per-hour top speed capabilities. The bike's motor is powered by a modular battery system. It can hold up to three battery modules and offer 124 miles of riding in the lowest power setting. Each 72-volt, 23-amp-hour battery pack could be extracted and charged separately. Once you remove the batteries, you'd be able to fold this 66-pound bike in half, thus making its storage and transportation more convenient. After long years of waiting, India's first performance-oriented electric motorcycle is finally here. Ultraviolet F77 has a powerful sports design with three striking paint schemes – Airstrike, Shadow, and Laser. Besides three different paint schemes, Ultraviolet Company offers two powertrain configurations – Standard and Recon. The Standard powertrain features an electric motor with 27 kilowatts of peak output, 62 pound-feet of torque, and 87 mile per hour speed capabilities. The second component of the powertrain is a 7.1 kilowatt hour modular battery pack. This battery could last for up to 128 miles in the city mode, while the performance mode would slash the range to 73 miles. The recon powertrain raises the output to 29 kilowatts, 70 pound feet of torque, while the top speed reaches 92 miles per hour. Besides a performance boost, you get a 10.3 kilowatt hour battery pack that can last between 106 and 190 miles depending on your riding style. Regardless of the powertrain option, you get an upside down telescopic fork with a diameter of 41 millimeters, a rear monoshock with preload adjustments, hydraulic disc brakes with dual channel Bosch ABS, three level regenerative braking system, and a park assist feature. Lastly, Ultraviolet prides itself for the superior connectivity of the bike and a smart user interface with a bright TFT display. In order to celebrate the first deliveries of this model, the brand announced a 77-unit limited-edition run. This unique bike will generate 30.2 kilowatts of output and 73 pound-feet of torque. Its 0 to 60 mile per hour acceleration is recorded at 7.8 seconds, while the electrified Sprint could take you to the speed of up to 95 miles per hour. This model has an estimated riding range of 190 miles and comes with a standard fast charger that adds 45 miles after every hour of charging. RTR Motorcycles, a young EV startup from Brazil, have recently announced about the start of their homologation process of their upcoming 799e Scrambler motorcycle. Once the process is complete, the company is set on proceeding with the model production as early as December 2023 and is already taking pre-orders. The 799e Scrambler was developed as a zero-emission alternative to ICE motorcycles that are currently available in Brazil. It is said to have lower running costs while being offered at a price similar to ICE counterparts. This electric scrambler is motivated by an 8-kilowatt electric hub motor with 12-kilowatt peak capabilities. The peak output could be unleashed via a special boost button, which also unlocks that 78-mile-per-hour top speed capability. The motor is juiced by a built-in lithium-ion battery pack. However, the manufacturer is planning to reimagine the battery pack design to gain hot-swap capabilities. The battery has 7.7-kilowatt hours of capacity and can let you ride for up to 75 miles between charges. The list of standard features includes dual disc brakes with energy recuperation, a small storage compartment, and a USB charger for your smartphone. Land Moto is an Ohio-based manufacturer of light electric motorcycles that weigh as little as 180 pounds. Their current model range consists of two products, Standard District and District Scrambler Motorcycle. 
Landmoto designed their products as a transitional vehicle between a bicycle and a motorcycle. Both versions are equipped with a smart power management system that lets you control the power output from 750 watts to 17 kilowatts. When the lowest power mode is engaged, the district motorcycles would perform as Class 2 electric bicycles with a 27 mile per hour speed limiter. The highest power setting turns these two-wheelers into highway-ready motorcycles with 70 mile per hour speed capabilities. Both bikes come with a modular battery system with hot swapping capabilities. Depending on the chosen battery setup, you can have 1.8, 3.6, or 5.5 kilowatt hours of battery capacity. With the entry-level battery setup, you can travel 40 miles in the e-bike mode or 25 miles on the e-motorcycle mode, while the range-topping battery would give you 120 miles of e-bike range and 80 miles of motorcycle-like performance. Land District bikes are suspended by Fox Racing shocks with 4 inches of travel in the rear. The front suspension is represented by a 48mm inverted fork with 4.72 inches of travel. Other details include Pirelli Angel Street or Shinko Golden Boys off-road tires, 24mm Magora HSQ brakes, beaming front headlight, and waterproof LCD screen, good for tracking performance parameters and riding modes. Today is a great day for EV fans as yet another ICE motorcycle manufacturer decided to embrace electrification and announced a model with a battery electric powertrain. For their first model, Barcelona-based Leonard Motors presented a city-oriented motorbike capable of performance similar to their low-displacement ICE bikes. For their rigor electric motorcycle, the company came up with a minimalist black and white design and frame ergonomics that would be comfortable for both urban commuting and long distance rides. Even though Leonard Motors mentioned long distance rides, the powertrain with a 4.5 kilowatt motor and a 72 volt 50 amp hour battery pack suggests that the rigor is best to be used for riding in cities closer to the charging ports. A complete recharging session would take about six hours. The manufacturer estimates that you can ride for up to 93 miles with the average speed of 30 miles per hour. The estimates for rides at the near top speed of 60 miles per hour are slashed to just 43 miles on a charge. The model's basic package would include an inverted front suspension, adjustable rear monoshock suspension, a large information display, and a USB power outlet. The statements that electric motorcycles are the future are more commonly heard nowadays. But what innovative features do e-bikes offer besides an all-electric powertrain? Well, it seems that all manufacturers have their own understanding of the future of riding. For example, one of the America's newest e-bike startups, it's called the Rivid, came up with a unique ErgoEasy technology for their upcoming motorcycle. The Anthem motorcycle is the first to get this technology. The Anthem has a ride height adjustable seat that could electronically change from 30 to 34 inches, thus making the ride more comfortable for both taller and shorter riders. Yet another innovation lies in the design of the bike's chassis. The chassis creation is similar to that of aircraft production, meaning that it uses folded stainless steel sheets and fasteners instead of welded tubes. As a result, the Anthem's chassis tips the scales at as little as 12 pounds, while the overall bike weight is 240 pounds. Among other innovative features, we should highlight a keyless start system, LED lighting, and an ultra-crisp 4.9-inch TFT control display. Just like many other electric motorcycles, the Anthem has a low center of gravity thanks to the strategic placement of a 4.3 kilowatt-hour battery and a swing-arm-mounted electric drive unit. Having the weight closer to the ground contributes to the ease of handling and maneuverability. The motorcycle's powertrain produces 7.5 kilowatts of nominal and 13.5 kilowatts of peak output, thus letting you achieve the 75 mile per hour top speed mark and cover distances up to 70 miles on a charge. A South Korean company that specializes in developing platforms and components for electric vehicles has recently shown two interesting electric motorbike models. 
UB46EM is a city commuting vehicle with an attention-grabbing retro design that features colorful size panels and useful storage boxes on the sides. The model is motivated by a BLDC in-wheel motor capable of putting out 8 kilowatts of peak power and letting you reach the top speed of 62 miles per hour. The structural battery pack is located in the middle of the frame, consists of 21700 lithium-ion batteries, and has the overall capacity of 7.2 kilowatt hours. This battery setup is said to provide up to 100 miles of emission-free riding and can be replenished with the help of an onboard charger. The second model is called Pac-Man and is aimed at riders who need to efficiently transport considerable amounts of cargo. It is based on a frame that uniquely incorporates wooden and aluminum elements. The Pac-Man's frame has a large rectangular cutout that could be used for carrying cargo, thus hinting at the potential use by delivery services. If used for delivery, the bike is equipped with a special remote control system that allows you to remotely monitor the bike's location, its battery charge, and operational status. In terms of specifications, the cargo motorcycle is using a powertrain with 5 kilowatts of nominal and 10 kilowatts of peak output and a 72-volt, 125-amp-hour battery pack. The battery is integrated into the bike's structure and could provide up to 120 miles of continuous riding at speeds up to 75 miles per hour. When originally announced a few years ago, Sondor's Metacycle was perceived as the best commuter motorcycle the money can buy. It was supposed to be the brand's most groundbreaking product that could transfer Sondor's from the ranks of an e-bicycle maker to a motorcycle manufacturer. Fast forward a few years and we can surely say that even though this transition did not go without a hitch, Sondor's are starting to make some significant progress with the production of this model. This year, Sondor's founder and CEO announced that 2,000 units have already been shipped to early backers and the company has gotten to the daily production speed of 60 units. Moreover, if you decide to place a pre-order today, you may be eligible for a $2,500 discount and opt in for one of seven new color schemes for the bike that were not available before. Just to recap, the Metacycle has gorgeous hollow aluminum frame design and a retro-inspired halo headlight. The motorbike's rear hub motor generates up to 14.5 kilowatt at the peak, so don't be surprised to see the 80 mile per hour speed on the display. This commuting bike has a 4 kilowatt hour battery pack to cover a 60 mile ride, weighs 300 pounds, and possesses some worthy components like Kenda tires, powerful hydraulic brakes, adjustable suspension, a wireless charger, and a full color smart screen. C1X Concept previews the future lightweight electric motorcycle concept that is to be sold under the Super 73 brand. It is supposed to serve as an entry model for those who'd like to get a taste of riding all-electric motorcycles. Super 73's engineers tried to keep this two-wheeler as light and as compact as possible. It will have a 51-inch wheelbase, roll on 15-inch wheels, and have the seat height of 31 inches. C1X will be brought into motion by means of an electric motor of undisclosed capacity with a chain drive, but the manufacturer announced that it would be powerful enough to reach the highway-ready speed of 75 miles per hour. The battery capacity and chemistry are to be unveiled in the future, but the company's aiming for the 100 miles of city range and fast charging capabilities. With the level 2 charging, you should be juiced up to the 80% level in less than 60 minutes. The list of other specifications that have already been announced includes fork and rear monoshock suspension, bright daytime running lights, and an LED headlamp. The production-ready model is likely to enter the market in late 2023, and you can already place a refundable $73 deposit for this bike. If you're tired of waiting for Super Soko's new electric stash motorcycle and still need to get an affordable city commuting e-bike, don't forget that brand's previous offerings are still relevant. TS Street Hunter is a very good example. The TS commuter bike has a modern look with a headlight design and rear light cluster that are clearly influenced by the Yamaha MT-07. This is the most powerful bike from the brand to date, 
But in Soko's case, this means just 2.5 kilowatts generated by the rear wheel hub motor. The torque parameter at the wheel is somewhat livelier and reaches 133 pound-feet, while the top speed is capped at 46 miles per hour. In its base configuration, TS Street Hunter comes with one 60-volt, 32-amp-hour battery pack that weighs 26 pounds and offers 33 miles of non-stop riding. The bike's battery compartment could hold two batteries, thus giving you the maximum range of 66 miles. The batteries could be charged either with an onboard charger or be removed from the battery housings and charged at home with an external charger. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new overviews in the comment section below. Thanks once again, and till next time!